The Detroit Grand Prix is returning to the Motor City this June. For the first time, the race will be held through downtown Detroit instead of Belle Isle. Two of the IndyCar drivers who will be there are Santino Ferrucci and Felix Rosenquist. So glad you two can be here with us this morning. Hey, let's talk about this, Santino. It's a new course. You know, there's a long straightaway. I think there's nine turns, one hairpin. As a driver, does that kind of excite you to hear that? Yeah, I mean, talking about the straight on Jefferson, that is a long straight, dude. We're going to get up to almost 200 miles an hour, so we're super excited. We, Felix and I uh, took some laps around the track the other day uh, in a beautiful Chevy Tahoe uh, around the GM building. I mean, this track looks amazing. I think they've done a fantastic job, and we're just excited to get out there. Yeah, well, that's good to hear. I mean, it is a street course, and here in Detroit, I mean, we are known for our, our potholes. So, Felix, I'm curious, does the IndyCar series have, like, a road crew that inspects the, the streets and, like, patches any potholes? Because you can't hit one going close to 200 miles an hour. Exactly. Yeah, they actually do. They they told us yesterday it will actually be the smoothest road in Detroit. I don't know if that means a lot. That means a lot to me. Uh, I'll try to get on that straight away. Yeah. No, it, Jefferson is going to be because our cars are super low. They're they're like this far from the ground, and so we can't have those big potholes or anything like that. So they're, they're going to make sure everything is like super nice, which is good for for you guys. It is after well. the race. That's right, uh, Santino. I'm curious. Do you prefer a, a street? course like this or a track like Indy? Uh, I think both Felix and I are huge street course fans, especially downtown. I mean, just the fans, the atmosphere, the racing, it's it's so challenging because you have no room for error. It's If you make a mistake, it's the wall. It's a hard stop for us. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things to where you really push yourself as a driver to your own self limitations. You really get to find the car's limitations. It's, it's a very unique process and it's very fun, uh, very challenging and honestly it's very mentally draining so I think that's why a lot of us love it. Yeah I can imagine I mean just driving on Detroit streets as a whole is mentally draining <laughs> and we're not even racing at close to 200 miles an hour. Uh, Felix kind of talk about what the fans can expect if they head down there for the weekend. Oh, it's going to be a big show. Uh, obviously, it's six races in uh, in three days. Uh, there's going to be a lot of on-track action. Uh, so the whole Jefferson Drive is going to be open for free to the public. Uh, so it's going to be different, you know, engagement and activation you can do there uh, for everyone. You know, if you haven't been in a race before, you can just you know head down, have a look, see if you like it. Um, yeah, it's going to be, I mean, the, the things they have planned, like, I, we don't know everything yet, but yep. yesterday we got a little teaser, got a couple of laps around, and it's just, everything is so thought out. You know, you used to be on Belle Isle, which was phenomenal as well, but it was kind of, like, limited in what you could do for fan activation and stuff like that. And now it's just going to be, you know, stuff to do everywhere. It's going to be, like, live music, uh, a lot of activation for local businesses as well, uh, which is really cool, I think. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, we're we're excited, man. I think it's gonna be really a different level as an event in whole. Well, that's good. I mean, there's going to be so much to do, like you mentioned. Now, Santino, it seems like you and Felix are, are buds. How do you draw that line between uh, being friends off the track and when race day comes, wanting to beat them? I think it's a respect thing. I mean, me and Felix grew up racing junior formulas together, so we've known each other for close to a, almost a decade now. Yeah. So yeah, it's. We have a huge respect racing against one another, and you know we're going to race each other super hard tooth and nail, but at the same point, I don't know if we're going to stuff our cars in the wall racing each other, because you do have drivers that are like that, you know, and for us, you know, finishing races is also very important to us, but uh, you know, we'll be out there. It's elbows out, especially here. I mean, this year we have the dual pit lane. That's something that we've never seen before in, in IndyCar, or, or it's very rare across any form of motorsports, that being said. so. It's going to be unique. I mean, having being able to pit on the right or the left and one merge coming out of the track, I mean, it's <laughs> we're, another we're, thing we're, to think yeah, about, right? We're all a little nervous about that as drivers, but we're going to really enjoy it and we're looking forward to it. And like I said, the track presents a whole new thing of challenges and, you know, we're just we're excited to be there with the fans and, you know, with all the local businesses too. So we're, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be a great weekend, June 2nd through 4th, the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix. Thanks a lot for joining us this morning. Really appreciate that. Thank you very oh, much. Thanks for having us. And you can still get tickets at Detroit. GP.com.